Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Now, if you're getting prepared for any of the CompTIA certifications or any certification, the one tip I have for you guys is try not to study too many concepts, right? Basically what I'm saying is try to keep your studies only around what the certification is about. Because you gotta remember, your ultimate goal is to pass a certification. After you take the certification, you can go back, you can study, you can go more in depth with certain concepts. You can do all these things. Try your best not to overstudy. Try your best not to be taking in too much information. And then when you take the test, you feel like you don't remember anything. You don't want to be studying so much that it reached to a point that some of the information is just falling out your brain. It's just falling out. You can remember the last set of things that you study, but the first set of things that you studied, you barely remember it, right? You need to centralize your studies. For most certifications and most exams, you have a, an objective list of the things that the exam is going to be about. Keep your studies around that. In that way, when this test comes, it's pretty easy, pretty simple. And why I'm saying that, especially for CompTIA exams, you gotta remember they are vendor neutral. So you're gonna get concepts and applications and things of that nature from many different vendors, many different sources. So they're not going to be able to just go straight in with all these stuff. If you're spending too much time on trying to get too in depth with some of the concepts, I'm telling you, you're going to fail. And that doesn't mean that you don't know certain things and you're not smart. Like I said, an exam is an exam, right? You have 50, 60 questions, 80, 90 questions, and you trying to take this exam to pass this exam. When you study in, you want to make sure you centralize the studies get the objectives, keep the studies in the objectives of what the test is going to be about. So when the test day comes, all the information stays nice and fresh. And when you start to take the exam, you start to feel like, oh yeah, I studied this, I studied this, versus taking the exam and then you're like, oh, I feel like I didn't go over this concept or whatever the case may be. Because you gotta remember, most applications, let's say let's use let's use Splunk for example there are dedicated courses on how to use Splunk there are dedicated courses on how to use like Excel right there are dedicated courses on Cisco there are dedicated courses on many different applications and many different hardware and many different platforms right so if these different tools have in-depth courses, that just shows you that these tools have a lot more to it than you think. There's dedicated courses to Intune and Azure and all these different things, right? So always remember that you will go down a rabbit hole learning about a concept, even up to IP addresses and subnetting and stuff like that. You can go down a rabbit hole learning about this. You can go down a rabbit hole learning about DHCP, SH. You could, it's all these different tools and platforms and concepts and stuff is a lot to learn for a lot of them. Try not to get caught up in trying to know everything and focus on, I'm trying to take the network plus or I'm trying to take the CYSA plus. What's the objectives for this test? All right, cool. This is what I need to know to pass this test. Let me focus on that. Because it doesn't stop there. Information technology, information security, it's a consistent learning cycle. So when you take that certification, you still going to have to stay fresh with the concepts. You still have to keep learning. You have to take maybe 10, 15 minutes out the day every day to just read up on something to stay fresh. That moment that you're studying for the certification, don't try to take in all the information in the universe. 
Just keep it specific, keep it centralized to the certification that you're preparing for. And I guarantee you, if you do that, and of course you put the time in for your studies, you have the right study materials, and all of that good stuff, you will pass. Hard work, discipline, dedication, you will pass. All right? I hope this video was able to help you, and I will see y'all in the next one. Thank you.